our family was invited by Intercoastal Safaris to go deep sea fishing with their friends on the Aquastar. Our adventure started at Zeke's Marina in the beautiful Orange Beach, Alabama. After we boarded the Aquastar, we had a meeting with the captain and the crew and discussed the game plan for that day's trip. Then once everybody got settled and comfortable, we started our relaxing cruise out into the Gulf of Mexico. Once we got to our first spot, it was a quick lesson on how to use the reels, and then it was game on. Um, I watched your tutorial. Once Jessica caught the first fish, it seemed like every time the bait hit the water, there was a fish on someone's line. This is our buddy Stephen Lee, the guy who actually invited us on this trip. Hey, yeah, that's a pretty one. That's gonna look even better in my skillet. And he's gonna tell us why they call Orange Beach, Alabama, the red snapper capital of the world. So, so in the state of Alabama, it's actually the red snapper fishing capital of the world, and that is not by happenstance. It was actually uh, done on purpose from the government. So what the government did was they set aside certain funds in order to put artificial reefs out there and there's I believe it's like 90 something Abrams tanks from like World War II that are out here and there's school buses and they strip them down and there's a lot of like old military aircraft and some military boats that they've actually sunk out here and so what that does is it creates an artificial reef and so Alabama for its 50 some odd miles of coastline actually has the largest uh, artificial reef system in place for the United States and that's why Orange Beach, Alabama is literally the red snapper fishing capital of the world because not only do we have a lot of them but we have a lot of big ones too um, and then in recent years the state government was able to have a little more say in what we can do with our own fisheries as opposed to the federal government. <music> After taking a quick break, we headed to a new spot where Jessica caught the first fish again.
about this one. I think I'm gonna catch something. Yeah? Yeah. This was Lex's first time being out in the Gulf snapper fishing. Seeing him reel in his first catch will be a memory we won't soon forget. One, two, hold it up by this, there you go. Look at me. Even though our middle son Lucas didn't get a snapper on this trip, he was able to reel in a beautiful bonita fish. Lucas, being a man of few words, didn't say much about his catch, but his smile said it all. After all the lines was reeled in and the poles were put away, we started our trip back where everyone was reminiscing on their experiences and catches of the day. For me, I was just blessed to get to make more memories with my family. Cause I can run, but I can't hide the feelings that I know. I can't keep bottled up inside. Once we got back to the marina and unloaded the fish, everyone got to start arguing about which catch was theirs. Then we finished the day off with taking pictures of our beautiful trophies from the Gulf of Mexico. After all our hard work was over, our new friend Kyle cleaned and filleted the fish so we could take home our souvenirs. 